Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'awdhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbish rahli sadri, wa yasirli amri, wa ahlul uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, we are starting our book two now. And uh, as I had said many times, if you are strong in your muftada and khabar, then this lesson is a halwa puri. If you are not strong in your muftada and khabar, then this lesson is a hard chickpeas. You have a problem. And, and, and digesting them. But inshallah, we know Muqtada and we know Khabar. And remember, when you talk about Khabar, Khabar is of five kinds. Huh? Khabar is of five kinds. Okay, brother, I write a sentence here. What did I write, brothers and sisters? Allahu Ghafurun Rahim. How will you translate? Allah is most forgiving and most merciful. Huh? Allahu. What is Allahu? Muqtada. What is it? Sahih. Where is the khabar? Ghafurun. And what is Rahimun? Is also khabar. When it comes to Allah, are you with me? We cannot say Rahimun is not. This is khabar number two. Only when it comes to Allah, I will we'll be doing it more, inshallah, and we'll learn. Now I'm putting something in front of Allah. Mm. 
What is it, brother? What did I do? In the law. Kafur and Rahim. What happened now? What happened to Allah? It was Allah who it became in Allah. Allah. Who did that? Inna. So what is Inna? Huh? How do I define Inna? What do you define inna as? Can you read? Harfu tawkidin wa nasbin. How do you define inna as? Harfu tawkidin wa nasbin. What is tawkid, brother? Emphasis. What is tawkid? Emphasis. For emphasizing. And what is nasbin? Something that will give the na- that will make the noun mansub. Remember, harf jar made the noun majrur. So harfu nasbin will make the noun mansub. Are you with me? Now mansub will come. Are you with me? Now mansub will come. Okay. So inna is a harf. What is harf? Particle. What is it? Particle of emphasis and making the noun mansu. Okay? That is what inna is. What is the meaning of inna? Truly, verily, surely, definitely. But brother, these meanings do not convey the same force and intensity as inna comes. Inna has its own sweetness and punch. Huh? and intensity that one has to understand in nine Arabic only. Okay? Tawkid was? Nasbin. Tawkid is emphasis. Tawkid to Urdu mein Tawkid hai nahi hai. Sister Mainas, do we have Tawkid in Urdu? Tawkid, Urdu? Yes. Tawkid kehate hai, it's Tawkid. Tawkid is also correct. Nasbin is something which will make it, give it a nasab. It will give the noun a nasab. The noun has to come after inna. Okay? Nasab, I didn't understand that. Mansub karega bhai. Okay? Nasab means mansub. It will make it mansub. Do you see what happened to Allah? It became mansub. Are you with me? Inna Allah. Rafiurun Rahim. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, look at it carefully. What is Allahu? What is Allahu? Mubtada. What is Allahu? Sahih. And what is Gafurun? Khabar. Fine. Now, Inna came and it made the Allah. Mansu. Now what is Allah? We won't call it we won't call it Muftada. Huh? Because Muftadas are always Marfu. It is no longer Muftada. What do we call it now? Here you have to understand. It is called Ismu Inna. What is it called? Ismu. Very simple. Ismu Inna. What is it? Allah ha is ismu inna. And I write down one more thing. Mansubun. And then what will I say to Gafur? It is khabaru inna. Hmm? What did I write, brothers and sisters? So, 
So Mubtada will change into Ismu Inna if the Inna comes. So if you know Mubtada very well, you have no problem because you know Mubtada change into Ismu Inna. And the Khabar of Mubtada, now because it is coming with Inna, we will call it Khabru Inna. What you will call it? Is it any difficulty here? Huh? Sister Mamuna? Huh? Ismu Inna and Khabru Inna Khalas. Which was our Muftada Khabar, now it changed into Ismu Inna and Khabru Inna. Are you with us, Sister Fatima? Muftada, what Muftada changed into? What Muftada changed into? Ismu Inna. And what is the Khabar now called? Khabru Inna. That's all you have to remember. <coughs> and as you know, the Khabar can be of five kinds. So if it is one word, then the Khabru Inna will be Marfu. Khabru Inna will be Marfu. If it is not one word, then Khabru Inna can be Shibu Jumla. Khabru Inna can be Jumla Ismiya. Khabru Inna can be Zarf, anything. We know khabar of five kinds. So that knowledge will greatly help you. Okay? Fine. Brothers and sisters, I give you more example. <clears throat> I write here example. Hamidun, Hamidun, Talibun. Sahi, what kind of a sentence is this? Chumla Ismiya. And it is Muptada and Khabar. Where is Muptada? Hamid. And Talibun is Khabar. Now, Inna will always come in Jumla Ismiya. And it will, the Jumla will remain Jumla Ismiya. When will Inna enter? In Inna will enter into Jumla Ismiya. Huh? Because that's the way it is. When it comes into Jumla Ismiya, the Muptada turns into Ismu Inna. Huh? Okay, brother. This is your Muptada and your Khabar. Now put Inna. What shall I say now? Inna. Hamidan. What will you say? Inna Hamidan. Inna Hamidan. Then, what will I say? Talibun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, what will you say? Inna Harfu Tawkid Wa Nasbin. And what is Hamidan? Ismu inna. And what is Talibun? Khabar inna. That's all. Not a big deal here. Huh? Okay? okay. Inna Allah Gafurun Rahim. Inna Allah. Okay? Remove inna. It was Allahu. Fine, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now I come back to this. What is this, brother? What did I write down? Innahu gafurun rahim. Okay. Inna has come. Inna has come. Ha, brothers and sisters. So what is inna? Inna harfu tawkid wa nasbin. And what is who here? It is ismu inna. What is it? Ismu inna. Mashallah. Okay. It is. Are you with me? Ismu inna. Okay. Ismu inna is always mansub. So who is here? Mansub. Huh? Remember, kitabuhu 
then who was mudafilehi majroor min who the who was ism majroor huh? because of preposition but when it comes to same who when it comes with the inna then the who is mansub why it is mansub because of inna are you with me because of inna so it is very simple brother okay so if I say here, innahu taliban, talibun, truly he is a student. So where is the ismu inna? Who? Is it mansu? Yes. Why? Because ismu inna are always mansu. Why? Because the ismu inna is always mansu. Yes. Why don't you put the fata then if it's mansu? Where? In the ha. Why don't you make it in the ha? Oh, oh, it's mansu. Sorry. We'll put in the ha. Okay. To satisfy Sister Salma. Okay. <laughs> now it will be. <laughs> okay. Make it now. In the ha, what will happen here? Talibatun. 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 Are you with me? Innaha Talibatun. See now, khabar matches. Do you see? Now, brothers and sisters, make it. They are truly, they are students. What will you say? Innahum. Innahum. Tulla. Bun. Are you with me? Yes. Now let us make it into Hunna. What will you say? Inna Hunna Talibatun. Are you with me? Brother, once you understand this concept, now you can go to Quran. And wherever inna comes, figure out where is the ism and where is the khabar. And you will love your explore, exploration and your discoveries. Brother, are you with me? Where is this mo inna? Who? Where is this mo inna? Ha. Where is this mo inna? Whom? Where is this mo inna? Are they majroor or mansub or marfu? Mansub. Huh? We know inna. We'll have months. Fine, brother. Now, <clears throat> I write here something else. Sir. Why did I write, brother and sisters? And the Taliban. Uh, now, let us put and emphasize it. So, what will I say now? Innaka, because you know, ta is a marfu. Uh, so what will you say? Innaka. See now in the Quran we say, Innaka anta samiul alim. Uh, so in Naka we are emphasizing and when you say in Naka then he is in front of you. You are talking to him. Huh? Huh? In Naka Anta Tawabu Rahim. So Anta was used for emphasis here. When it comes to the Quran, we will learn it. But in Naka, truly you Talibun. Now I say Anti Talibatun. What will I say now? In Naki Khalas. Huh? Tali ba tun. Sahih brother? No, I am a student and I want to emphasize in ni or in nani, both will be correct. Huh? Let us write down in ni talibun. Nahnu 
Inna now or Inna? Inna Tullabun. Sahi? Antum. Antum Tullabun. I want to emphasize. Inna Kum Tullabun. No, I want, to, I want to emphasize sisters. Antunna Talibatun. Inna. Brother, tell me, isn't it easy? Why you are doing it so fast? Because you have the idea of pronouns. Huh? You have the idea of pronouns. And you have the idea of Mutada Khabar very well. That's it. That's the lesson, brother. Huh? That's the lesson. Okay? So once you understand with this foundation in you, things become easy, brother. And you are going to enjoy it. Now there are other complementary things with Inna that I will show you uh, inshallah tomorrow. Brother, there are so many beautiful things from Quran. If I'll tell you, you are going to love them. Huh? Okay. So is it clear, brother? What is Inna? Harfu Tawkid wa Nasb. Say everybody together with me. What is Inna? Harfu Tawkid wa Nasb. One more time. Harfu Tawkid wa Nasb. Say one more time. Harfu Tawkid wa Nasb. What is the translation in English? Particle of emphasis and making the noun Mansu. That's all. That's all. Okay. And then Mubtada will change into Ismu Inna. And the Khabar will change into Khabarinna, kalas. That's all there is to be learned now. From now onwards, we will come to know that many of these uh, uh, things like inna and kana, they have sisters. What they have? So, inna wa akhwatu inna. We are going to learn. Sounds difficult? Akhwatu inna. Brother, inna is a buddy band. So all are choti bahne. Are you with me? So if the buddy band does something, the choti will follow the same rules. So it's not difficult. If inna does something, what does inna do? It makes his ism mansu. And it is called ismu inna. So if there are other sisters, for example, anna. What is it? Anna. Inna. We are only learning Inna now. But then we will learn Anna. So if Anna is there, it will have Ism and it will have Khabar. If you have Lakinna, it will have Ism and it will have Khabar. Then Ka'anna. These are all very simple and easy. Provided you are strong in your Muptada and Khabar. Okay, and then another thing, la Allah. What is it? La Allah. Huh? Okay. Hmm? This is another sister of Inna. Huh? Okay, la Allah. So what is la Allah? Perhaps. Now, Lala has two meanings, but Dr. Abdurrahim takes his time to explain us. The first meaning is hope. What is it? Hope. The other meaning is fear. But, huh? but then, as we will follow the book, we are not going to go outside the book in these case, this case. We will follow the book, brothers and sisters, and the Lala meaning is hope. I ask you something. Kaifa haluka ya khi? What is the meaning? How are you? How are you? And then I immediately say, La laka bi khair. I hope you are well. So, La laka, I said. Bi khair. Okay, brothers and sisters. You might say I'm jumping, but you know why? Even if I'm jumping, because I know you are strong. Okay? Let me write down something. Are you with me, brother? Now, what is la Allah? 
Akhwatu inna. What is it? Akhwatu inna. So, what is Kai now? Sister Maimuna, what is Kai now? Huh? What is Ka? Ka is a ismu la'allah. Huh? Because, are you with me? <laughs> what is Abad Hassan? La'allah ka, what is Ka? Ismu la'allah. Because la'allah has come. And what does la'allah do? Whatever the older sister does, it gives the uh, ism mansub, makes the ism mansub. That's her job. Okay, and we know khabar is of five kind. What kind of a khabar is this here? Bikhairin. Jahar majur shibu jibla khabar. Are you with me? Now this is the khabar of la Allah. What is it? La Allah. Are you with me? Brother, we can finish this lesson today. But we won't. Okay, are you with me? It's very... Because you know it, because you are strong in your uh, Damahir, it is very easy. Okay, brother? Let us start. Inna and put 14 Damahir. Innahu, Innahuma, Innahum, Innaha, Innahuma, Innahunna, Innaka, Innakuma, Innakum, Innaki, Innakuma, Innakunna, Inni, Inna. Are you with me? Inni, Inna. Tell me, is it difficult? You can do it, brother. Let us do la la. La lahu, la lahuma, la lahum, la laha, la lahuma. La'allahunna, la'allaka, la'allakuma, la'allakum, la'allaki, la'allakuma, la'allakunna, la'alli, la'alli, and then la'allala, 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 okay? So what were you doing here? We were just adding pronouns, and what are these pronouns now? Either if you put with inna, then it becomes ismu inna. If you put with lala, they become ismu lala. Okay? Now we are not doing it now, but just for the sake of fun and to tease you. Let us do lakinna. Ready? Lakinnahu, lakinnahuma, lakinnahum. Lakin naha, lakin nahuma, lakin nahum, lakin naka, lakin nakuma, lakin nakum, lakin naki, lakin nakuma, lakin nakuna, lakin nani, lakin nana. You will come across this in the Quran, brother. Left and right. What did you do? We added the mire to lakinna, so the mire became. Ismu Lakinna. That's all. Ismu Lakinna. Yes, Sister Arifa? Huh? Lakinnani. Lakinni, you can say. Huh? So long as you give a Shadda there. Huh? Okay? You can say. Huh? But Shadda has to be there. Because sometimes. No, you know, I don't want to say too much because I want to, I want you to go home with smiling, <laughs> not with too much of a stress. Eh? Uh, uh, but, uh, lekin, uh, but, okay. But uh, this is, this is it. Okay? So, in short, inna wa akhwatu inna will make the noun mansub. And noun has to come. It's a condition. If you are using inna, you have to have a jumla ismiya. And noun has to come. Okay? Later on, we will take Quranic verses and I'll tell you how beautiful the meaning becomes when you understand it. 
and how much you enjoy it, brothers and sisters. How much you enjoy it. Okay. Uh, you got the idea? Ismu inna and khabar inna, which were previously muktada and khabar. Khalas, brother. That's it. And when you use the ma'ir with innahu, uh, then those the ma'ir become ismu inna, and this time they are mansub. Khalas. That's it, brother. That's the whole lesson. Huh? Okay, fine. I'll give you one more with her. Uh, with a definite noun, huh, brother? Al Mudarrisu. Chadidun. What is the translation? The teacher is new. What is Al Mudarris? Muptada. What is Jadidun? Khabar. Let us put now in emphasize it. What shall I do now? Shall I make it in Al Mudarisi? What will I do now? Mudarrisa. See, our knowledge will help us in the Quran. Inna al mudarrisa. Huh? Inna al mudarrisa. What will happen to Jadidun? Will it become Jadidin? No. Khabar is marfu. Ja. Di. Dun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So far, so good. It's interesting. Sister Nasrin. Not difficult, because you know Muftada Khabar. So, and you know your pronouns, okay? <coughs> okay, brother. We start the lesson. And there are many things in the lesson, newer things are coming. I'll explain you slowly, slowly. Brother and sisters, we've got 15 minutes left. And uh, we will try to do as much as we can. Otherwise, tomorrow we'll start from the lesson again. Uh, you have to say anything, Brother Abdul Samad? Can, can you say? Inna Brother uh, Fil Kitabi Is Fil Kitabi Muftada? No, then it cannot be Ismo Inna But then brother I want to show you so many things The one thing that I really want to show you Tomorrow If time permitting Brother Look at this sentence And I want to explain you tomorrow Brothers and sisters, you cannot translate Quran. You've got to understand it through the language and feel the sweetness of it. What is this? insana. How many times do we read this? Every day, I guess. What the inna harfu taqid? Wanasmin. What is al insana? Ismu inna. So where is the khabar inna? Fi khusrin. What is it? Fi Harfjar came, Harfjar, Ism, so Khusarin became Majroor. Every human being is in loss. But what is this La? That is another beautiful thing, very beautiful thing. We learn in book three, but we are going to learn tomorrow. Uh, because if I explain you this concept of the La that comes, brother, it will make your reading of the Quran right away more interesting huh? and it is not difficult it's so very easy that tomorrow when I'll explain you you are going to be surprised huh? inshallah okay so the concept of inna is very important for us to understand and you will understand without much difficulty because you have a Strong foundation of Muftadan. Brother, suppose you did not have an idea of Muftadan Khabar. 
then you will only be translating. You won't be understanding it fully. And if you did not have the idea of the Mayar, how they are attached, then you will not be able to say with confidence whether they are Majroor, Mansoor, what are they doing. You know, this way it becomes easy for you. Ready, brother and sister? Hashim, yes. Where is Khabar Marfu? Fi Khusrin. Sister Nusrat, remember all of you, Khabar is of how many kinds? Five kinds. The scholars will say three kinds because they put Shibu Jumla together as one and Al Jumla, which is Fialia and Ismiya, Ismiya as one. But I think for our simplicity, we said five kinds. Okay. Now, if it is not one word, then it is a Shibu Jumla Khabar. So, what is Fi Khusrin? Jar Majroor, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Khabar, kiski khabar hai? In, inna ki. It is the khabar of inna. Remember, ismo inna and khabar inna. Don't confuse. Get confused, okay? Ismo inna and khabar inna. So when you will see inna in the Quran, just like we say, if there is a fiel, there is a file. If there is a muftada, there is a khabar. If there is a ismo, if there is a inna, then we have to have a Ismu inna. And then we got to look for the khabar inna. Where is the khabar inna? In this case, inna al insana. What is al insana? Ismu inna. Fi khusrin khabar inna. Are you with me, brother? This is very easy. Brother, things will become so beautiful and interesting, inshallah. Okay? Now, are we pardon? Yeah, khabar inna is always marfu. Are you with me? Khabar inna is always marfu. That is why I say this is so easy. And you see, that is the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim's book. His vision, how he wants to teach us. He starts with muftada khabar in whole of book one. Then we come to book two, he starts with inna, because inna enters jumla ismiya, changes into muptada, makes muptada mansub, and we call now that muptada, what do we call it? Ismu inna. And khabar remains marfu, so we call it khabar inna, khalas. Are you with me? Is there any confusion? Okay, what is muptada? Is it muptada marfu or mansub? Marfu. What is khabar? Is this khabar marfu or one word? It is marfu. Now come inna. Inna only has an effect on muftada. It will make muftada mansu. We won't call it anymore that thing muftada. We will call it ismu inna. And it is mansu. Huh? And then khabar is marfu, still marfu. But if you look at this, in Allah Gafurun Rahim. What do you see there, Brother Farooq? What is do you see Gafurun? Khabar. What is it? Don't dan din. What is it? Marfu. That's it. So you have to remember that. Huh? that. Those are the rules. These are the rules, Brother. Ismu Inna Mansu. Khabar Inna. If it is one word, Marfu. Or it can be Shibu Jumla. Inna is harfu tawkidin wa nasbin. And then the is, that the noun that will come after inna will become mansu. And what are we going to call it? Ismu inna. Khalas. That's all. Yes, Sister Salma. Is it okay then to remember for ourselves that um, the, the noun following inna is always in the muftada? Yeah, it, it used to be muftada. I know, but now. Now it is ismu inna, yeah. Okay. Why? Because inna enters jumla ismiya. Inna will only enter jumla ismiya. It will not enter jumla failure. And it is the immediate next noun. Yes. Okay. If it is not next noun, then it can be a mile away. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Here is a beautiful example that we are going to learn later on. Brother and sister, you are going to inshallah one day memorize this surah. This is the last ruku of Al-Imran. What is it? Last ruku of Al-Imran. 
Most of you know it, you know. She so, said, so, man, that's probably you know it. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard wa akhtalaf al-layli wa nahari Brother, immediately after inna came fi. Huh? It came fi samawati jar majrur. Okay? Are you with me? So can fi samawati be ismu inna? No way, it is jar majrur. It has to be a noun. So now we are going to look where the noun is. Are you with me? <laughs> noun is, okay? So a noun can be a half a kilometer away. The ismu inna can be further down. Are you with me? I don't want to go too much in detail. Just wait, brothers and sisters. And as soon as you are ready, we will bring Quranic verses. Hmm? And there are so many. And inshallah, that is our reason why we are study, studying uh, uh, language of the Quran, to understand the Quran. Okay, brother. Hashim. He is a student. Huh? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hashim is now asking the teacher, Kaifa? Kaifa? Halu? Ka? Huh? Now, you see, you will be able to, you won't say Kaifa Hali. No, you say Kaifa. Haluka, ya ustad. And afterwards, what does he say? La laka bi khair means, I hope huh, you are well. So, brother, la la came. What is la la? Min akhwatu inna. Huh? Okay, fine. Okay. And then, what is ka? Ismu la la mansub. And where is the khabar la la? Bi khair. I, I wrote it down, isn't it? Huh? The la la ka bi is the khabar of what? Jar majur shibu jumla khabar la la. Aap samjhe? It's very simple. Sometimes I don't write. I think you'll be able to match it. Fine. Alhamdulillah. What is the answer? Alhamdulillah. But what is Alhamdulillah? Muqtada jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Wa kaifa haluka anta ya Hashim? And how are you? See, if the Ustad has said, Wa kaifa haluka ya Hashim, it is perfect. But he says, kaifa haluka, and he using anta. Now anta usually comes in the beginning. Here the anta is used for emphasis. How are you? You, O oh, Hisham. Are you with me? So here anta is for taukid. What will you say? For taukid, Okay, fine. Hashim, fine. Ana ohibbuka kathiran. What a beautiful. Ana. Muqtada. What is ohibbu? This is your verb. It's in present tense. We haven't learned it. We are not going to go in detail, brother. Only I would say, say ohibbuka I love. Love whom? Ka. So ka is your mafulun bihi. Ka is an object of would you like to write it down? Just write down that. No further explanation. Ka is an object. Isme mat likhenge. Aapki, you know, kitab. Tomorrow we are going to do it again, inshallah. Okay. Oh, what is kathiran? Manfub hai. Kathiran. Do you remember? Anybody remembers? Ah, mashallah. Mafoonun mutlaq. Now, what is the actual meaning? We are going to do later on. But it is maful. See, now you remember, huh? That this is mafulun mutlaq. MashaAllah, that was excellent, Brother Abdusam. MashaAllah, fine. Innaka talibun zakiyun. What is it, brothers and sisters? Innaka. What is inna? Harfu tawkid wa nasmin. What is ka? Ismu inna mansubun. You will always write down ismu inna mansubun so that you remember. Fine, you got your ismu inna. Where is khabar inna? Talibun. And what is zakiyun? Naat. You are a very intelligent student. Now comes another. Wa mujtahidun. Another naat. Ma'dufun ala zakiyun. Fine. And then wow came again. And what is zoo? Huh? 
What is zoo? We don't have time. It is mudaf. Zoo will always come as a mudaf. Huh? And there will be mudaf ilahi. Huh? Zoo means possessor or owner. Are you with me? Now this is something that tomorrow I will explain you in detail. Zoo is always mudaf. So what will be after zoo? Mudaf ilahi. And mudaf ilahi is always majroor. Huh? The so, zoo khulukin means this is the way in Arabic we write down. Zu khulukin means he has good manners. He has a good manners. So Ustad is saying to Hashim, in Naka Talibun Zakiyun wa Mujtahidun wa Zu Khulukin. How will you translate? True, verily you are a intelligent, hard working and a and you have good character. You are, you are a student, hard working, intelligent, with good characters. With good character. This is in English we translate. But how we will translate, how we will analyze in Arabic and understand? As I said, inna harfu wa nasmin ka ismu inna mansub talibun khabar inna rakiyun naat waw ataf mujtahidun Mautufun ala zakiyun and wow ataf zu mautufun ala zakiyun. Are you with me? Wa huwa mudaf and then mudaf ilay. Isn't it beautiful, brother? Huh? You are going to get stronger and stronger in your analysis, inshallah. Sister Salma, huh? brother and sisters, 12.30, we have to finish now. Uh, oh, by. No, because see, there was a nath, followed by a vow, and then followed by another noun. So then, that another noun is, we will say, mautufun ala, what is before vow. So what is before vow? Nath. So then, mujtahidun is a mautufun ala, zakiyun. You can say nath, if you want to say, but we will here say mautufun ala. Huh? It is a nath, you know. Three are them are not, but we say mautufun ala, mautufun ala, mautufun ala. Are you with me? Inshallah. How do you find so far things? Alhamdulillah. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Interesting? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Rabbana atina fi dunya asanatahu wa fil akhirati asanatahu wa kina adhab al-nar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin. وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ سَمِيُّ الْعَلِيمُ وَتُوبْ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ تَوَابُ الرَّحِيمُ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ أَمَّا يَسِفُونَ وَسَلَامُنَ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ الحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير Drive carefully.